In this video, we're going to find the sample size needed to construct a confidence interval for a proportion. And we're going to do it with StatCrunch. So we're going to focus on problem 8a. It says Theo is organizing a LAN party and wants to determine the proportion of people at his college who play online multiplayer games. How many randomly selected students must Theo survey in order to be 95% confident that the sample proportion margin of error is 3%? That's a lot to say. Okay, so it's asking for how many randomly selected students. So it's asking for the sample size. And the problem is talking about proportions. So we go to stat, proportion stats, one sample, and then we go down to where it says power sample size. Then you left click on power sample size, and the screen opens up. So now you want to click up here where it says confidence interval width. So I'm going to go ahead and left click on that. And then it's asking for various things. Well, the confidence level is 0.95 and that's okay. That's what it is in the problem. The target proportion, we leave that alone. It's still 0.5. And then we have to enter the width of the confidence interval. So in this case, the margin of error is 3%. It's right here. Margin of error is 3%. The width is two times that. So you want to think of 3% as 0 0.03 and then multiply that by 2. So 0 0.03 times 2 is 0 0.06. So again, you just take your margin of error and you multiply it by 2. So that should say 0 0.06. And then we just click compute and there it is, 1068. Now in part B, it's the same exact question. So suppose that Theo's classmate Alice knows that 78% of the students at her school play online multiplayer games, and then the rest of the question is exactly the same. So we enter the width again. It's 0 0.03 times 2, so 0 0.06. And then this time, we're given some information. The 78%, that's the target proportion. So that goes in this box here, so 0.78. And then you click Compute. And there is the answer, 733. You'll notice that the width changes automatically even after you enter 0 0.06. If I do it again, you'll notice it changes every time I hit compute. That's normal. My theory is that it has to do with the special rounding that you use when you do this problem by hand. So I hope that made sense.